from websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. I've been doing it zendononline.com. A lot of you know the NFTs, the non-fungible tokens that we offer are really, really uh, in demand right now. Um, we have a new one that is, the title of it is, If Dogs Sat in Chairs and You Were the Chair. And uh, it's really cool. It's, you know, uh, beautiful footage shot with um, premium lenses and lighting. And, uh, you know, whoever put this thing together is great. And, you know, we sell it through our store and, and, and we've got a ton of these things. And these, I, I can't stress enough how non-fungible they are. They're not even a little bit fungible. So uh, there are no hidden fees or price hikes. All websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash the boys for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use the offer code the boys to save 10% off your first purchase. Man, you can you can roll that 10% that you saved too and just invest it in what is going to be a valuable asset, I think, for a long time to come. Uh and and go to zendanonline.com where there's just uh, there there's so many there's just so much content right now. Uh, it's you just shake your head at some at some of these. It can happen so easily. You're out with your friends or coworkers. You're putting back a few drinks. A few becomes a few too many. It's time to go. And for a moment, you think of calling for a ride. Nah, you're a good driver. You live nearby. You can make it home okay. What are the odds you'll get pulled over? And even so, what's the worst that could happen? You lose your license? You lose your job, you total your car, you kill someone, you put a big thick scratch into the side of your hot rod on your way to the special car show, and then they won't let you into the car show because they don't want to display a car that has a big thick scratch on it, but you're supposed to meet your friend inside, and your friend has your wallet because you left it at his house last night, and your wallet has a special pill inside it that you need that has special powers. (laughs) And your friend takes the pill and immediately is consumed by flame and becomes a the human fireball and of course there's a special fire truck being displayed at the car show and immediately all the fire hoses automatically that's what's special about this fire truck it automatically puts out fires and it blasts your friend who who took this pill and is and is now essentially made of fire and puts out your entire friend and they're allergic to water it only takes one mistake to change your life or someone else's, like your friends, forever. Play it safe and plan ahead to get a ride. Drive sober or get pulled over. Hey everyone, we're very excited to share the first episode of Season 3 of Hollywood Masterclass. We're going to be releasing the rest of the season on our Patreon and Stitcher Premium. If you'd like to support us through the Patreon, you can do that at patreon.com slash ones and sign up for the Hollywood Masterclass tier or any of those bundle tiers, which we highly recommend. Uh, Right now, we have six episodes a week on those bundle tiers. That includes the pro version, Hollywood Masterclass, Handbook uh, with the ads edited into the episodes, Carl Calls His Cousin Twice a Week, and The Flagrant Ones. You can also listen to the show on Stitcher Premium. For a free month of premium, go to stitcherpremium.com slash masterclass, click start free trial, select the monthly plan, and enter code masterclass. That's stitcherpremium.com slash masterclass, promo code masterclass. Thank you so much for listening and enjoy the show. Bang, Rajman! Ah, uh, yes. Hey, what's he showed up, guys? Up. Hey. Good to see you guys. What's up? Good to see you. you. Too, Good man. to see you. Yeah, I mean, I, he's he's here, Brett. Yep, <laughs> told you he'd come. Yeah, when do uh, the rest of the guys show up? The uh, yeah, the other guys. Yeah, um, yeah. Any any minute now, I think uh, they'll um, they'll be here, right, Brett? Did yeah. you say? Yeah, I got a couple couple great guys coming, man. The whole great guys. All right, cool. Crew. Yeah, ready, ready to play little cards. Uh I just downloaded Donk House. I haven't used it before, but uh Donk House, yeah. Such an app. Yeah, and you've got your account and you've got your invite and everything, right? Yeah, yeah, it all came through. And do uh, you see the room? The room is open now for you to Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready, man. There. Um 
who do I do I have to like Venmo or is that at the end of the night? We'll deal. Yeah, we'll deal with that at the end of the night. I, I, I'm just so thrilled, you know, that you're that you're in here. Can't wait. This is be fun. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, missed you, it's man. Poker night with the boys, and this, this is the you know, <laughs> I was starting to think you weren't going to make it to the Zoom. Yeah, I was. I was. I appreciate the invite. I was surprised. Um, I was curious who was going to be here because you, you BCC'd the the invite list. Mm-hmm. But oh, yeah, right. well, but there's but, famous people on that list. Yeah, that's the thing is some heavy hitters, you know, some of Brett's friend. Brett is in some pretty wild circles, you yeah. know, with some A-listers. So cool, man. I'm excited to see who's going to show up. He can't just give you their email. <laughs> Beg's like, I want the emails. Give me the emails. I have, <laughs> you know, I'm going to see if uh, uh, John Ham will be in my my short. Yeah, my Sundance short. I mean, no, I, I wouldn't. I'm not that kind of person who would email I'm, other people. I'm fucking teasing, Meg. <laughs> He's fucking with you. Dude. All right. Yeah, It's cool. a joke, man. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm happy you're here and I'm happy to, uh, <laughs> you know, start the card game. So, um, you know, the other uh, the other people um, might not be in the Zoom yet, but we can just uh, shuffle up and deal. You just want to get started the three of us? Just, 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 uh, yeah, just, just maybe warm up. Just go on. Yo, Shunk, what's up with your tone right now? It's like real, like, is there a joke or something? Who, me? Yeah, yeah. You sound like a little kid with a secret. Is it, is he talking to me, Brett? <laughs> <laughs> I think he is. Yeah, yeah he's talking to me. Have you done this Zoom thing before? Sometimes, like, for... have I- I have done Zoom, yeah. I mean, okay. we've been in a pandemic for over a year. I've I've done. We have, yeah. It's it's really really hurt our relationship, huh? The three of us haven't been haven't been together. Yeah, it, I, I turned mean, out this is the only way to get us together, huh? Was to get yeah. get the old uh, poker game going. Well, yeah. I mean, I've been super busy, and I I mean, I'm glad we're we're able to just finally catch up. He's the only one that's busy, Brett. Yeah, like I'm not busy. I didn't mean it like that. Bang's busier than we are. I mean, I had to cancel a ton of parties to come to this poker because I thought it was worth it. But well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you were we just, throwing uh, you you were throwing parties that you were throwing multiple <laughs> parties and you canceled those parties? I canceled a bunch. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's a 11:30. Then I got it like a 3 p.m. Um, start up the grill around five, you know, yeah, that's first a lot. two parties, hey, no grill. A- first two parties, no grill activated. No. Grill is for the five o'clock party only. So if you come to the 1130 party and you go, well, oh, I'm going to look for a Berg. No, you're at the wrong one. Come back at five because he will kick up the grill at five. And I've learned that about Brett's parties. I eat before if I'm going. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I'm excited to play poker, but like, I, I do have a lot of questions about the parties and, like, if you're only invited Again, to one of the earlier parties, do you have to leave before the next party starts up? It would be a little awkward if you didn't, you know. That's it. I mean, it depends on the invite. That's overstaying list. your welcome, Bang. Yeah. There's a limit. And if you, again, you want to know the guest list so bad, and I totally get that. You're like dying to know. I, I mean, brought that who up. my friends are coming. Exactly yes. who. And then he's like, and can I get, should we text with each other? This yeah. is Bang talking to. Oh, is Colin you know, Hanks coming? Yeah. I mean, if these are really high profile people, you would think like they would they would be very offended if you were like, you have to get out of here. I have new guests coming. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's kind of a known thing around town. It's like a uh, double header or triple header in this case. This is bang at the three o'clock party. Hey, uh, Danny DeVito, will you leave my outgoing voicemail? <laughs> <laughs> So your friends are Danny DeVito, Colin Hanks, and and uh, I can't even remember who else. And I mean, you can't remember, and it was John Hamm, and you asked him to be in your Sundance short. It was John Hamm, yeah. <laughs> and these don't seem like the biggest names out there. No offense to them, but I, I wouldn't be like starstruck seeing these guys. Okay, more famous than you. Yeah, they're more. Fa- I'm, lot. I more. never said I was famous. A lot more. No, but you're somehow in a position to judge how famous they are. You know, 
Listen, should we just deal? I, I'm. I, I think I, maybe we should. Hey, Brett. Yeah. Shuffle up and deal. Don't mind if I do. And you hear that sound, everyone, and that music means, of course, that it's time for yet another masterclass. Wait, what are you doing? I'm Sean Clemens, and the fuck is this, man? Welcome to my Mister Clutz. That felt clean. That was good. Okay, so what, the fu- Bing, Dude, what are we doing? What is- I, I, th- I thought we were just playing poker. What? I thought we were just playing. I thought you were done with this. I mean, Bang, I- this is an intervention. This is an intervention. You are atrophying creatively. We have been terrified watching you during this pandemic. Your creative muscles have shriveled up in a little tiny. They look like little just old shoot up slim gyms now. And when you were working with us, when Brett and I were molding you and massaging those creative muscles, really digging in there oh and giving little electric jolts to them and you know, having I you feel like I, I've work been them doing out. fine. I mean, I sold- They were big bulbous. You, what, you sold what? What did you sell? I sold three screenplays to Apple Plus. Oh, please. <laughs> Apple Minus. Oh. Well, I- <laughs> Apple minus. I mean, I, I just feel like I've been Hang doing... on, let me go through all the shows that people watch on Apple Plus. Let me look at all the screenplays that have been successful on there. Hang on, I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh, yeah, Jason Momoa, his eyes fell out. <laughs> Fuck I off. Think that was a TV show. <laughs> Fuck off. Was that your idea? No, it wasn't. That, that, that wasn't my idea. I haven't watched it, but it, was, it, was, it wasn't a movie. I mean, I don't know. I think people liked Greyhound. On the rocks. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This looks pretty good, actually. What is this? <laughs> Bill Murray. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen Epic. that either. So Are you just Epic. scanning what's on Apple Plus right now? Yeah. Well, you forced my hand here, Bang, because you're the one who's bringing it up like it's some big hotshot deal. I've literally never heard of it before this. Listen, you So, seen- yeah, you sold three screenplays to him. Big whoop. The fact is, Bang, we went scared. We had to trick you to get in here and we take your creativity more seriously than you do, apparently. I got out of line for the vaccine to come to this. Whoa, that, why did you do that? I was next in line for the vaccine. I had been there for hours. Hours. You should have Man. definitely stayed. I slept there overnight. How did you qualify, Shock? Ah, some mm-hmm. bullshit, some fucking... Is it the medical thing? Well, I he is, he, he seems very susceptible, susceptible to... Susceptible. <laughs> you know what? Just get the vaccine, man. Why don't we call it a day? Yes, I misspoke. Oh, yeah, I'll just go, I'll just walk right back up to the front of the line. They'll love that. I don't even have the scrubs I stole anymore. Wait, were you pretending to be a medical professional? Oh my God, I was pretending, pretending, pretending. I'm an actor, I'm a performer, I'm an artist. So you were acting. The line between what's imaginary and real doesn't exist for me. I am an artist. I was doing art as a fake orderly for Kaiser Permanente. Okay, so yeah, okay? you're pretending. No. I mean, your your Twitter bio says I play pretend. I do, and it is play for me, and it is work. And when you play for work, you'll never you'll work your. You are, that's a that's recipe. Not a hmm? it's not a, that's not an aphorism of any kind. Yeah, not yet, because it keeps getting interrupted. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So, so, so when, um, <clears throat> yeah. so when your, when your work is your play, your play, yeah. mm-hmm. that's, that's playing for keeps. When your work is and your work. play, that's playing for keeps. It let, yeah, the, you know, you know what? It's it's not my masterclass. <laughs> it's, it is my masterclass. It's not your master. It's you're you're taking the class. And by the way, you're on the hook now, pal, because you promised at the end of the last one that, and I told you you would that you would come crawling back that yep. after 
uh, if the last one, which was free, but if you take the next one, got to pay for both of them. Right. And I paid you. I thought that I thought you did. Yes. We settled that. I, I, I paid you more than what you were charging for the class. Cause I thought you yeah, could use because it. You got so much out of it. Sure. And I did use it. I used it for a lot of the equipment and things that we're going to be using for this class. And I'm actually really excited to see you thrive because we tried acting total bust. <laughs> You fucked up. You sucked. We tried writing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Little better. He had a sort of a Judd complex, but uh, other than that, I, I think we made some progress. But ultimately, mm -hmm. like now, we're okay. hanging out in the gutter selling screenplays to Apple Plus. And what I realized is, it's time to change course. What do you mean? I mean music. That's what I mean. I mean, why, why would we do that? I mean, We're neither one of us has any real musical skill. Exactly. Mm. And that's why I think in the past, part of what weighed us down, right, was all these bad habits you'd developed and all these ways in which you thought you had experience with acting and you thought you knew what it meant to write. And I ultimately... I'm admitting it was my failure as a teacher. I couldn't break those habits. You were chained up and calcified and in this shell of just dumb shit you were like doing that sucked. And hmm. I thought, oh, well, I'm strong enough. I'm brave enough. I'm going to get my, you know, teaching sword and I'm going to slay the dragons of all bangs bad habits and ultimately i wasn't able to do that and i'm and i'm embarrassed to admit that but there i said it you were too shitty you sucked and i couldn't fix it but now to start with a clean slate where not only do you not have any bad habits when it relates to music i don't have any knowledge or experience at all right that's why i'm thinking this is a bad idea i mean even just if most teachers don't tell their students that they're shitty and they suck period at, at acting and writing and this is after the fact i didn't tell you that during the class when i still had hope for you but let's face it man i mean what, what was the screenplay you sold to apple plus uh it was actually based on some of the stuff we talked about in the class that that you weren't oh. crazy about oh my god <laughs> and they bought that they did, yeah. I sold it in the room. How, 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 how much? I mean, I don't want to get into money. No, nah, me neither. Me neither. More, more like than, six figures. Yeah, more, yeah, more. Okay. And the decimal point is the decimal point is after the, after the change. There's yeah, a comma after the the cents. Yeah, decimal points after the cents or before. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know. I'm just saying right. six figures. Oh. So like if I have like two thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Two zero zero two. zero. That's decimal point. Does that count as a figure? Not really, but that's four. And then if it was like two thousand dollars and twenty five cents, that's six figures. I mean that's six. Yeah, they, they usually they, they don't count the cents as part of the Which is which is why I asked. Right. And you, you know, your, your answer was clear as mud. I was so confused. I was so confused by the question. I, I couldn't give you a great answer. He was, he was confused, Brett. Should this be a math class? Yeah. Welcome to my math -ter class. I mean, it would even make sense if Brett was, Brett has a, a music background at the very least. Thank you. And we're going to try not to let that hinder us. Obviously, there will be some moments where, yes, Brett can use some of the old style, but I think mm -hmm. what's so beautiful and exciting about this is you're right bang you're right for once you're right i have literally no formal training and it's a challenge but it's also an opportunity because no i'm not a musician but i'm quite musical i'm naturally musical and that i think gives us an enormous advantage because just based on instinct and my internal musicality, I'm going to be able to draw out of you the artist 
the musical artist that lives inside you. Listen, your Zoom is filled with Hmm? what looks like food from TGI Fridays. And I'm getting the... Looks like or is. Or is, yeah. I mean, it's wrappers and novelty bottles and stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. What's, it's making me worried about how you're going about your days and maybe you're putting yourself in some at risk. Because it's not Friday? No, it's it's more you're going to crowded restaurants and stuff. Oh, well, I, you, you, you want to wait in a vaccine long, uh, line as long as I did. You're going to want some snacks with you, actually. Because, I, I mean, and believe me, people are... <sighs> some of these assholes, these mask psychos who are like don't take off your mask to eat potato skins around me. And I'm like, first of all, it's a loaded potato skin. So the idea, yes, if it had no toppings on it, maybe I could slide it in under my mask. (laughs) But the way this thing is constructed, I'm going to be getting sour cream, chives, bacon, and cheddar cheese all up on the bottom of my mask. No, thank you. I'm doing the polite thing. I'm doing the respectful thing. And by the way, Mm. I must have been at, I must have been practically six feet away from this guy. I mean, not literally, but you know. Yeah, you're supposed to be literally six feet. And he's and getting the vaccine. Maybe. I mean, but plus, I think he, he. I don't think he was factoring in you sliding the potato skin under your mask. I think he was saying like, you shouldn't be eating here at all, be it a loaded potato skin or not, or just a plain potato skin. Bang. I was there for two hours almost. That's not, that's not that long. Okay. Yeah. I'd love to see you not eat for two hours. You'd be crying for your mommy, pounding on the ground, throwing a little hissy fit. I don't eat for two hours every single day. Probably of my life. Oh my God, this guy's showing off. I, I I love when you have to like, you're so embarrassed that I'm naturally musical and have proven it. And you're not naturally musical that now you have to like change the subject and make it about like, I cannot eat longer than anyone. When if you went two hours without eating, you'd be pounding on the ground, calling for your mommy, like the kid whose truck I took at the playground last week. I also... I'm going to bring it up now while we're talking about mask. Your mask disturbs me. It's of my face. So? It's... Yes, yeah, like a mirror. The sincerest form of flattery. It's tribute. Yeah, but don't you think it... You're going around, you're, do, you're doing kind of reckless behavior with my face on. But the face you're making on the mask is not the face that you're making in, in the Zoom right now. No, it's like, it's, it's kind of like a cocky. Yeah. It's contorted into something of a rakish smirk. Yeah. Yeah. It adds to one eyebrow cocked and just like a a little, little dimple in the one cheek. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's not a face I make normally. No, I had it designed. Well, listen, wouldn't hurt you to smile more. The famous masked prankster of the vaccine line. But if you, if I take this class, would you just wait longer in the line, get vaccinated, and and maybe stop going to now? He wants restaurant. to negotiate. I'm talking mm. to Bang the lawyer. I guess uh, uh, maybe I'll take right. your uh, law master class after you take the music one. He's in the bargaining phase. Mm-hmm. Yes, we first he was in denial. denial, thought it was a poker game. Yeah. yeah. Then it was anger, wanted to be naturally musical like me, but he's not. Now yeah. we're in bargaining. Soon comes depression, which is actually probably where he should be. I did think it was a poker game. And I was angry. Yeah. Hey, let's talk about what it means to be musical. Brett. Oh, God. Tell a little story. Not too funny, but just... Don't make it too funny, but Brett, just tell sure. a little story so we can just we can hear the rhythm of how you speak. Brett, who by Bang's own admission, is somewhat musical. Yeah. Yeah. I he's a he's a musician. He should be he should be teaching this to both of us. Brett, just tell a quick story and not too funny. That's not what we're doing, but just a little story. Something from your day. Whatever you want. 
Okay, something from my day. Um, so I took out my phone, iPhone Max. Go to the. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did I say? But go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry, I can't you're, help. Uh, you're you're I can't, on notice, counselor. You're on thin ice. I can't help. <laughs> Is myself. there an inside joke here? Was, I vote Max. I mean, it's like it's funny. I mean, you said Apple Plus before. Yes. Yeah, so iPhone Max. Right. Then, He's sort of, huh? All right. So, you know, parodying you, you know, it's satirical. They're both what the products are called. <laughs> Swipe through, go to a little DoorDash, decide, hey, I want a sandwich. <laughs> it's so Brett. Yeah. <laughs> it's so perfect. It's go perfect. Ahead. This was today. Yes. No, no. I mean, you made that quite today. clear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I look. I type in sandwich and uh, dozens of options. No. And okay. <laughs> yeah. I know I where go this through, is going, but yeah. go I, I don't know where this is going. It just sounds like you're just... <laughs> no, and Brett's cheating a little. I, I did tell him, hey, you know, it's not... <laughs> It's not supposed to be funny, but isn't this but, a story about music or no, it's are not you listening? bang. It's are a you... story about being musical, which is Brett starts talking and I can basically fucking dance to it, man. You can bop. I mean, to put it in your parlance, bang, it's my parlance. It's got that rhythm, Jack. Come on, Jack, you can dance to this stuff. I mean, Brett starts talking and I hear the melody. It's so fluid. I mean, you start talking it. Brett starts talking and it's ooh, skip it a bop it a zap it a zow. You feel that? It's skip it a zap it a zop. Ooh, you feel that rhythm, Jack. You talk it's thud plop blop. It sounds like fucking shit. It yeah. Sounds like a fucking giant taking shit. It sounds like a toddler banging on a piano. It sounds you know? like the damn goddamn kid I stole okay. the truck from at the playground. <laughs> it's just because you realize da, you're da, you're. Da, da. <laughs> You're translating in my voice in two different ways. You th- think I talk like I feel that rhythm, Jack, but then I also talk with Bloom Black. That's, this is the vocabulary you use. Yeah. Okay, sure. I, I, is this an actual story or is this just something that happened in your day? It sounds just kind of like nothing. Doesn't need to be. Doesn't need to be, you know, because because it it, it is about being musical. Okay. And it's a, sounds like more of a list of what happened to you. It's an allegory. Yeah, so you know the mm-hmm. the iPhone Max thing I referred to earlier, right? Yeah, I loved that. Started out with a bang. Mm. No, I mean, not you, not bang. you, not referring to you, <laughs> okay? But he can't help it. No, and how was that an allegory? It's these connections. It's these patterns. You know, it's these connections. This wordplay. It it just comes out. Okay, you're just a channel. It comes through you, comes out the other end. That a story, bang. So iPhone. Mm-hmm. 12 plus max. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's the chorus. And I'm starting out with the chorus. Boom. So you start out with iPhone max and then the, the chorus is iPhone 12 plus max. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, you save the rest of it. For, See how it builds. You build. And all of this stuff you'll learn. Are you guys zooming A from s- the same place? I, I'm noticing. I think I can see Sean in the background. <laughs> That's not well, that's part of what was so funny about the sandwich thing is like, I know you've been eating TGI Friday's apps with me, doggy. I right, making up this sandwich story, and I was like, Bang's Ooh. falling for it. I mean, your face, Bang, when he said he was going to order a sandwich was like, uh huh, yeah, I think you did. It's yeah. like, I know where this is going. He didn't order jack shit, man, because I got back from the vaccine line, which was a total bust. Cut up my scrubs, threw them down the garbage chute. And I, I said, hey, let's have a fucking feast, man. I got these. I got TGF Fridays. I got the freaking Jack Daniel sauce, everything. All right. You think I have an iPhone 12 plus max? Come on, bitch. Oh, so the whole story was bullshit. That was all. That was a lie. But that's music, right? It doesn't have to have happened to you for it to be a song. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was musical from such a young age, bang. And I was immediately connected to these sounds and these extremely advanced musical concepts and these songs and just things that adults now can't even wrap their head around. That's uh, uh, wheels on the bus, you know, twinkle, twinkle, these things, these incredibly advanced, mm. like very adult themed, very sort of dark 
fucked up songs that had this these complex rhythms and melodies that like nursery people rhymes? now don't understand. Alphabet song, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Bingo, Old MacDonald, and these mm-hmm. things. And I would sneak into the secret restricted areas of the army base and I would get inside the tanks, you know, where the acoustics were better. And I would... I'd be singing and I'd sing so hard, you know, in there, just even as a, as a child, as a baby, six months old, I'd be singing so hard that the tanks would shoot their guns off and they would blast, you know, blast houses into dust, whole houses. And I'd go run over and I'd just climb out of the tank and I'd pick up a big hunk of smoking rubble that used to be someone's house. Okay. I know we haven't I'd, talked in a while, but you know, the... You had lost your memory of your childhood. It sounds like it's come back, but it's far more terrifying than than what you led me on to believe. And I, I mean, I want to know more about it. I, I feel like that's way crazier than any of this musical stuff that you're telling me that like you had an insight into the... Well, ABC's it is the musical stuff I'm telling you. I mean, you didn't even let me get to... I would pick up this hunk of smoking rubble that used to be, you know, some family's faucet, and I would pretend it was my my icophone, I used to call it. I'd say, this is my icophone, you know? I, that's how I pronounce it. I was six months old, maybe even younger. Well, that's way too early to be talking. <laughs> and I'd go, oh, this is my icophone. And I'd, and I'd sing, and I'd go, and I'd go, I'd rock out, and I'd go, oh, I do Big old McDonald and a fucking dog, and I just said I'd be ah, oh, and I'd be you know, t- in, interpolating and 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 syncopizing, it's impossible, and, shock. You know, doing these things. No, it's true, and then you know, and then the the head of the army base would come out and he'd just zap me with the zapper and he'd shock Jesus. me and he'd put me back in the you know the tank, the fluid tank. It wasn't water, but it was some you know, and they'd put the material over my bones and uh, I think. Wow. It it might be time to to see a therapist or talk to somebody about these memories. I mean, music is therapy. Well, uh, well, let's talk about your memories, Bang. When did you first realize you wanted to be a musician? When did you first realize I I have never had that realization. I I mean, we've, yeah. I'm not skilled. Okay. I'm not. So if I come to your house right now, I won't find any records? No, I, I love music. Yeah, I, I have oh, a bunch of records. Oh yeah. my gosh, he loves music. Okay. Wow, took long enough. There's no music in his house. There's no records. Okay. Do you want to be an artist? I thought you were an artist. That's my mistake. Music is art, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> music is art? Yes. I thought you were an artist. Yeah, but there's... And a- do you see how the master class is already helping you? And you're realizing that you actually can't find your damn asshole with both hands. And you've been rooting around looking for the thing. Mm, you're going to have to elaborate. Brett and I have to show you where your asshole is. Guess we have to. Okay. By teaching you that, in fact, you love music and you want to be an artist and you are trying to do music and you do need our help. That's helping find my asshole. Musically. That's helping you find your damn asshole with both damn hands. Musically. Mu- musically, you have to find your asshole. I'm also curious what the benefit of no finding my asshole is. Okay. Uh, you want to clean it every once in a while? Thank you. And I didn't want to have to even say it. <laughs> and I was hoping <laughs> no one would have to say it, but apparently we do. <laughs> okay. Okay. First things first, let's get the rule book out. Brett, do you have the rule book with you? Okay. You've got yours, right? You see the rule book? See our rule book? Brett, Brett, show them yours. All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got I got two right here. They're both so they're flipping me off right now. No one's your rule book. We're flipping you, him off. This is this is audio. I assume you're recording this. We're, we're flipping him off. Both hands. That's right. They're they're both flipping me off. There's the fucking rule book. To put it into terms you're gonna understand, Bang, that's the fucking rule book, Jack. Okay, I get that's it. That's the damn rule book, Bang. So there's no rule book. That's right. You're in Judd territory, baby. There's no right way to do it. That said, you've been doing it wrong. So let's make a few rules. Yeah. Listen to us. That's rule one. I mean, it does, does talking about Judd still apply? He's not a musician. <laughs> he's an artist and he broke the rules. For all we know, he's actually a brilliant musician. You know, Conan plays guitar. Right. Conan plays guitar. He's my favorite guitarist. What does that have to do with Judd? I, 
Are they not related in your mind? No, football players take ballet classes. Mm -hmm. You think that Judd has some musical background to help him with his writing? Bang, the point is, he threw out the rule book, and so did we. That said, although there is no wrong way to do it, you are doing it wrong. We do need some rules. Rule number one, listen. If you listen to us, you're going to learn. And if you learn one single note from this class, if you learn one note, bang, it will have been a success. You know, okay. I'm not here to say this note goes here and oh, you can't do that. And that mm-hmm. note goes over there. And oh, this is this note. And oh, that's what that note's called. And you know, it's all for me, it's emotion. For me, it's feeling. Yeah. I'm looking to literally teach you one single note. And because it's a class, I hope it's not an F. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was pretty good, <laughs> Brett. An F note. Oh my god! Oh, this uh, is a class. Do you like that, Brett? Get an F in class. It's so good. And that's music. It's so good. That's music. And that's music. Music, baby cakes. I- <sighs> These aren't. You know. Here, here's here here's how. We're what is this? this? <laughs> it's a good question. Because what, what are we doing? <laughs> Because it's what are you talking? I think the problem. I think part of the problem is you. You're thinking of it as music class, and you know what it is. It's sponge classes. These are sponge classes, bag. Okay. I, what what absorbs? What absorbs? A sponge absorbs. Sponge. Yes. Sponge. Sponge. I'm not thinking of this as music music class. Spon- I I thought this was a poker game, and. You know what a sponge is, Bang? Yeah. No, you don't. Because a sponge doesn't. A a sponge would need to absorb what a sponge is to know what it was. And it would need sponge classes to do that. So if you know what a sponge is, get out of class right now. Okay. Get out of class right now because you don't need our help, but you do. So think about that. Yeah. Now I'm going to ask you again if you know what a sponge is and say no this time. Sure. Do you know what a sponge is? No, I don't. I'm not a sponge. See? And a sponge wouldn't know what a sponge is unless it absorbed what it is. And now you're learning. Does that feel good? That had to feel pretty good. Shock feels great, man. Now, we've already booked a rooftop concert. We expect a huge crowd. So we will be ending this class with a rooftop concert. So we do actually need you to learn more than one note. I was being a little bit uh, hyperbolic when I said you could learn just one note. We actually need you to learn a bunch because we uh, are going to be out a shit ton on the venue. Um, We're expecting a huge crowd. uh, Maskless crowd, ideally. Um, We do believe it will be safe. (laughs) Why do they have to have no masks? It's eight weeks away, bang! At least... So what I'm saying is we got a fucking two month runway here to get at least one really kick ass song together that we will be playing on a rooftop. We did shell out a ton for the venue, a lot more than you paid me for those two classes. And we lose the entire deposit if you don't show up and rock their world. How many people are living with you guys? (laughs) There are a lot of people in the background of your Zoom. Okay. What's your point? I'm just saying like, this all seems incredibly risky. Hang on. Let me go count the people. Dude, the riskiest thing would be to lose that connection with humanity that we have. That's when you stop creating. That's when you stop being an artist. That's when you stop writing songs and making music, which is what we all got into this damn thing to do. Now, look, here's your first sponge class. Any sound can be music. That's right. Brett, make a sound. Hear that? Right? Yeah, it was... Hear that? Was that the sound you sniffing into the mic? Yeah. But... Right? uh, He's already taking off. Okay, now you guys are (laughs) snorting and lighting things using a lighter. Oh my God. Shug... Shonk just took out a knife, which has no noise, but he's just showing us his knife. 
And that is music to him. And now he's sticking his tongue out. He's doing stuff that is silent and he's miming, <laughs> cutting himself. Anything can be music. Okay. But I, anything. I, Shonk, I know anything. this is your class, quote unquote, but mm-hmm. don't you think it's hard to make anything music if it's not making any sound? Check this out. Oh, unless that was a noise, at least. <laughs> iPhone. Right? Brett's song from earlier has now become, it's come to life. Bang. Mm-hmm. I'm hitting a can with an iPhone. You hear it? And that's music. So just make a sound. Freedom. No mistakes. Make a sound. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Sounds like shit. That sucked. What the fuck I've are got, you talking about? You can't fucking make that fucking music. Horrible. You're being you're being a goofball. You're trying to do your comedy routine. This is music. What the hell was that? This is not. I, I just kind of did a. That sounds like shit, it's like dude. A toddler. Well, oh yeah. I mean, you guys are just sniffing and this coming from the guy who doesn't need to find his asshole because he doesn't wipe his ass. <laughs> yeah. And now he's making this noise. <laughs> Jesus, man. Why do I need to know where my asshole is? That really disturbed me. Yeah, I'm, I'm still shook. not over that. I'm, I'm shook. Don't just make random shit, man. Find the rhythm. Yeah. The rhythm. Like Brett, you know? Try again, man. All right, that's a ripoff. I mean, you just ripped me off. Okay, well, I was. I mean, the point is for you to have your own voice by the end of this. I could sue you for that. Look, why don't we... That Let's not do... Obviously, the idea of like random sounds and finding environmental noises is like beyond you. Let's try some real instruments. That seems like a a huge jump. Let's try some music, man. I mean, Brett, do you want to give this guy a beat? Let's find like, where are you comfortable? What's your instrument going to be? Like, what's your... You know, what's your funky zone, right? Like you like to say, like, what's my funky zone, Jack? Okay, that's a great question. I I, I think my answer would probably be I wouldn't be comfortable. I, I don't have any. Who are your influences? Don't say Slender Man, Bye Bye Man, all this <sighs> stuff. You know, they we're not in that class anymore. Don't say my influence is Slender Man. I'm going to make that, you know, that song. Um, or but- do, I mean, or do that. Do you want to do that? <laughs> Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, my influencer Slender Man. Okay, that's not going to work for this class. And bye-bye, man. I, I, that's not going to work for this class. Beetlejuice Man, I assume? Be- yes. Beetlejuice Man, uh, the Snowman. Snowman, sure. Uh, Mr. Police, I gave you all the tunes. Something, you know. Yeah, yeah. Those Something guys like got me into music, Sean. Okay, great. So what I want to do is just... Brett's going to play a sound bed, and we're going to let you try a couple different approaches and we're going to find where your funky zone is. Brett, do you have it? Yeah, here we go. All right, bang. Time. Be a guitar. Go. Be a guitar. Play guitar? Guitar. Be a guitar. Be a guitar. I know you don't know how to play it. Okay. Okay. Be a flute, be a flute, be a flute. Tuba time. Tuba? Give me that tuba. tuba, tuba. More trumpet. That's more trumpet. Okay. Hop on the keys. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, dee, 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 dee. Kind of like a triangle or something. You, go ahead. Uh, yeah, do, do, uh, I know these are drums. You do the drums. Double drums. Drum with the drums. Uh, okay. I think you have a broken, like a busted drum head or something. Okay. Yeah. It was hard to do with the drums also on in my headphones. You got to tune it. That was fun, guys. Um, so what? What note were you playing? I have no fucking clue. What octaves? I don't know. I mean, I'm... What subgenre? Uh, Slender Man. This actually was really helpful. For... Because I know what you are now. Okay. You're a vocals guy, baby. 
You're a lead singer. Not because I think you have a singing voice to speak of, but... Mm, I don't. You're so far away from understanding any instrument at all. And a lot of instruments didn't even sound like the instruments I asked for. Yeah. Yeah. At least I know you could fucking talk, dude. Barely. (laughs) And you barely make any damn sense when you do it. But at least I know you can damn well talk, dude. Right. Yeah, well, you seem... I mean, you don't make no damn sense when you do it, but it's a start, okay? These criticisms are pretty arbitrary, not based on much. Do you, so you think that you would have more success as a lead guitarist or flautist than you would as a lead singer at this stage in your musical training? I don't. I, I think I would. Oh, my God. He just admit it. Again, man, I, I didn't sign up for this. Buddy, that's why you need it. If you signed up for it, I would say, don't take the class. Literally, if you had signed up for it, I would say, you know what? Don't take the class. Don't show up. Because you actually are aware of your shortcomings of, as an artist and you have a desire to grow. But because you didn't sign up for it, God, you need this bang. Jesus, you need this. Have you guys ever taught anybody else? Oh, An- anything? <laughs> oh my God. I'm not even going to. That's like... It's crazy. As a vocalist, I'm excited to hear what you have to do. And I'm going to ask you a quick question. Look at Brett's body. Okay. Take a gander. Look at this shit. Yeah. How do you think he gets that, man? You think he just walks into the gym and just does a damn 800-pound deadlift right off the rip. I mean, that is probably a lot of genetics, knowing his diet. I I don't know how... So you think he just woke up with it? Or do you think he dragged his ass over to the goddamn fucking squat rack and pushed 10 damn plates? Uh, Yeah, I mean, he must work out pretty aggressively. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And he probably warmed up. So let's warm up. Open your throat. Huge. Okay. Huge. Huge. Bullfrog. Big throat. All right. I stick a full fucking broom in my throat every morning. (laughs) And I swirl it around. (laughs) Like the end with the... I take the fat end of the broom. The fat... So the end with the the brush... The Brussels. The Brussels. I put the Brussels... That's so fucking I put the fucking Brussels brand right down there, baby. Uh, I shake it up. And that has opened my throat so big that I can do incredible things with my vocals. Let's do a warm up. Let's do a quick warm up. Let's right. boom, sure. boom, boom. Okay, ready? Boom, boom. Yeah. Ugh, you know Big Booty Biscuit? You know Big Booty Biscuit? Uh, it, remind me. The, like, the Big Booty Biscuit bunched up its butt skin. The Big Booty Biscuit bunched up its butt skin. The Big Booty Biscuit bunched, bunched up, up its, its butt, butt skin. skin. The Big Booty the Biscuit bunched up its the butt skin. Big Booty Biscuit. The Big Booty Biscuit bunched up its butt skin. Beetle Bailey buttered Bill Burr's bronze buns. Wait, say that again. You're kind of popping. Be- Be- Beetle Bailey buttered Bill Burr's bronze buns. Beetle Birdie Butter. Beetle Bailey. Beetle Bailey. Beetle Bailey. Beetle Bailey. Beetle Bailey. Bill Burr's bronze buns. Bill Burns. Bur- Bill Burr's bronze buns. Brie Bella bonked Bo Bridges' bumpy bottom. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Brie Bella bonked <laughs> Bo Bridges' bumpy bottom. <laughs> See, we've only, we're only on the Bs. Wait, That's this goes likely. through the whole alphabet? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we go through the whole alphabet normally. Yeah. Today, we won't go through the whole alphabet. We will be doing other letters yes. later on. The letter B is essential. <laughs> if you can say... Bees, you can sing anything. But this right now, pretty simple warm-up. Actually, the easiest one, Big Booty Biscuit. So the Big Booty Biscuit bunched up its butt skin. Beetle Belly buttered Bill Burr's bronze buns. Brie Bella bonked Bo Bridges' bumpy bottom. And you get Brie Bella bonked Bo Bridges' bottom? Bumpy bottom. And and bang, sing it, bang. Do we wrap around back to the A's later? We don't need A's. Okay. Uh, You're being an A-hole. Come back to the A's. Don't be an a-hole. Sing these. Sure. What is it? Bunched up, it's butt skin. You know, like, give me the... Bah. Give me the fucking smoke, man. Bah, bunched up, it's butt skin. 
Give me the fucking smoke, dude. It's Bob bu- bunched up its butt skin. Oh my god! No, oh my god! Big booty biscuit. Oh okay. my god! Oh, this is gonna be a work. I, I, I'm hearing these for the <sighs> first time. My memory's not <sighs> that great. Big <sighs> booty biscuit bunched up its butt skin. Brett, I mean that. Oh boy, uh, Brett, what do you say? What do you say we give Bang a little taste of what we might be able to do at the end of this if he actually listens to us? Sure, sure. Give me that beat again. This is just some inspiration, man. Bunch up this biscuit. Booty biscuit. Oh, yeah. You hear that? You hear what those chords are doing in my voice? Oh, it's smoky, right? It's raspy, right? You feel that fucking smoke? This doesn't seem much better or worse than what I was just doing, other than it has a beat on it. Puzzle skunky chunky mean step brother. Ooh, you try, you try, do some step brother stuff. Step brother. Give me raw, give me raspy, give me sassy, give me boisterous. Ste- ooh, step, ooh, step Not like brother. that, like this. Like, ooh, no. f- skizzle, dizzle, dazzy, mean step brother. <laughs> do some step brother stuff, man. So, okay, I don't know where, like the movie Step Brothers, is that what inspired you or? I never seen it. Scrib it, damn it, damn my stepbrother. The beat didn't even start. Who's in that? Colin Hanks. Rap, baba, diba, de boo, my stepbrother. Bang, stop. Stop. Jeez. Listen to Nina Simone. Uh, sure. You don't want to listen to me, apparently? Will you listen to Nina Simone, Bang? Yeah, I, what you guys were doing didn't seem like professional. I mean, it, it Bang. didn't seem like you guys had it together. More punk, right? We're not talking about us guys. We're talking about Nina Simone. Yeah. The way she sings Ne me quitte pas. Bang, this song is so French. You need to be that French to sing. I don't speak French because I personally just think Freedom Fries is a better name. <laughs> That's my... So I, I am sticking with Freedom Fries. <laughs> I am sticking with Freedom Fries regardless of whether we ever prove they did 9-11. I don't actually care that has what's nothing real to do and what's with not. The origin. They just As, did. And I just told you it doesn't matter whether they did 9-11 to me or not. I don't care if we prove it. I suspect okay. they, they did. did not relate it at all. It was about supporting the invasion of Iraq. Well. Which they did not. It probably was a smart, not even probably, it was the right call. Well, it worked out perfectly for me because I actually think Freedom Fries is an awesome fucking name. It makes me stoked to eat them. Okay. It makes me actually proud to eat them. What you sipping on? Uh, I'm just sipping on some coffee. Bang. What you sipping on? Right now I'm drinking coffee. I'm- no. No. Coffee does not protect your throat. Your throat is your instrument now. Protect your instrument. And now that I think about it, I should have been weirded out that I agreed to a 10 a.m. poker game. Bang. Forget the poker game. Your throat is your instrument. Okay. There's a reason they don't make the uh, friggin' trumpet out of throat tissue, right? They make it out of metal. It's tough. What you're sipping on now, what you're sipping on, uh huh, should be molten gold. Say that hot metal. Drink hot metal. Drink. Protect your instrument. Drink molten. Yeah, molten metal. The little honey. Not right off the rip. Start with wax. Melt a candle. Drink the wax. Melt down some plastic. You know, drink that. But hey man, ultimately, you, you want to get that, that thing metal. That'll fucking kill me, man. You can't really think get that's a, a good idea. Get a candle with a ginger scent. You can do you it. You have to build up. You have to build up. We don't just start up. Same way we went through the bees first, right? We didn't right. do the whole album. Maybe I'll start with tea or something. How's that sound? <sighs> what kind of tea? Uh, lemon. Hot lemon tea on stage, okay. That could relax your voice. Puckers your lips. On stage, no iced tea. It tenses your throat. On stage, no. No cold, no. Okay. Off stage, yes. Okay, give me cold, yes. Well, soothe, relax, okay. On stage, yes, hot tea, okay, yes, fine. I would like you to try drinking a ginger candle, a ginger scented candle. On stage or? 
On stage, hot ginger scented candle, yes. Okay. Cold candle, no, not on stage. No, because it tenses the throat. So no cold. Off stage, can- yes, okay. Cold candle. No cold candle. You can eat it from the bottom. No cold candle. And off then stage. floss your teeth with the wick, yes. Floss my teeth. This seems I, I'm so not ready to get on stage. Don't you think we're a little getting a little ahead of ourselves a little bit here? We don't have that much time. We don't have a ton of time. We are going to be doing a rooftop concert at the end of the month. Yeah. And by the ba- by the by the way by the by the way, bang. Just hang on a second. If you're just joining us, uh, welcome to my muster cloud. And this is Sean Clemens, and I'm teaching on music now. And with Bang, Rajman, and with Brett. And it is a really wonderful mixture class. I mean, we can see who's joining and no one's popping in on this and Zoom. If you just showed up and please don't interrupt me again because now I do have to start over. And if you're just joining us, Sean Clemens is here and this is sponge class. Uh, <laughs> but it's mis- but it's mis- 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 mistri- mistrial class. Claps. Your homework assignment, bang. Mm-hmm. One, listen to music. That's easy, right? Yeah, I, I do that every day. That's easy, right? Fun. But really listen. Do you have earphones? Like <laughs> AirPods? Like do you have a- earphones? Put your earphones in. My earphones? And wear a blindfold. Put your earphones in, wear a blindfold, and walk around and bump into things in your apartment. Should be a private experience. Should be a private experience for you, but for God's sake... Don't go to the bathroom, especially knowing that you don't clean that stuff. No, I do. I wipe my ass. Man. And it's going to be so loud if you're in there. Ugh. Like, it's going to totally drown out your earphones. Because you think I have like... Especially after all that coffee. When I'm doing it, I can't hear anything. I literally go deaf and I lose my sense of taste and smell, which actually hasn't come back for a while. Well, Jesus Christ, man, you probably got COVID. No, we got a... With the herd here... No. Mm-hmm. The herd? You guys think you're developing like a small herd immunity in your loft? Have you heard about the herd? Maybe a song idea. All right. There you go. You're on the H's. That's maybe a song idea. Can you ask your roommates to <clears throat> do any kind of intimate stuff in in a, the background of another room or like just not in your line, in the camera's line of sight? Uh, th- I'm not the, our relationship is not at a place where I feel comfortable asking them for anything else. Um, your arrangement. Does sexuality scare you? It doesn't scare me. It's just, it, it's uh, a little distracting. I mean, they're looking straight down the barrel of your webcam as they fuck. Well, you know, the relationship I have with my roommates is my own business. And I, if you're frightened by that, uh, join the club because the last time that I did ask them not to do it, looking at my webcam, they beat my ass. So uh, what I would like to say for your next homework assignment is um, we're going to talk about your philosophy. Uh, Figure out what you want your music to say or better yet, what you want it to see. (laughs) And I want you to sing everywhere you go all next week. Come back in with a hit song. (laughs) (laughs) And one more thing, small thing, and I'm just going to bring it up. It actually relates a little bit to what you were saying earlier. We're probably going to want to go No Nut November throughout this process. You dig? What the fuck? Uh, All right. We're being no, creative. We're learning. We're not going to jerk off all, the, all this month as though it's November. Look, we're finding inspiration. We're performing. And the last thing we want to do is give away our power to some dirty magazine. Okay. So this is your job now. You're at work. Bang. Please don't pull a, a tube in on us. <laughs> That's not the kind of song we're writing, but we're going to go no, no November for this entire process. Sure. And you especially. And, and what? And you especially. Me especially. Wait, either we all do it or we don't. Like we. <laughs> no, we all don't do it. That's what No Nut November is. But you especially. Fine. I'm Sean Clements. And this has been my minst, 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 minst. I'm Sean Clements, and this has been my monsters class. I don't understand. How do you still not know how to say that? What do you mean? 
are we going to play poker or, or was that all a ruse? Yeah, I'd play. Can you spot me? Fine. Hollywood Masterclass is a production of The Flagrant Ones in conjunction with Stitcher Premium. The show is produced and scored by Brett Morris. Brett Morris.